Guys, I haven't been this excited in a long time. I've been wanting to order this for forever. So you can tell by the title, we got the front subframe. It's here, finally. Um, I also got their um, modified front control arms. Tubular, totally adjustable. You can adjust camber and caster and, and it'll just be like dialed in perfectly. But they didn't show up with this. They'll be here Tuesday. So I'm gonna make two separate videos. Um, I'm waiting on the old lady to come downstairs so she can record me unboxing this, so here we go. All right, let's get this bad boy open. I see some uh, goodies here on the side. Got me an airhead. What's this? Oh, I hope I didn't just cut it. Some nice stickers there. Right on. Invoice. Whatever. You don't need to see that. So, let's get this bad boy open. I've been wanting to buy this. Man, probably going on two years now. I just, uh, you know, it's a little expensive. <laughs> and I've been debating for a long time on if I wanted their arms or not. Oh, look, another sticker, I think. Yeah, this, nice. Ah, uh, that's pretty cool the way they set it up. Wow, all right, take a look in there. Nice. This thing is sick. It just looks really cool. Like if you look under the car with this thing in, it just looks super sick. So as always with Verkline, they send super detailed, really, really nice instructions. It comes in this nice little thing. It's stapled, literally step-by-step, -step, pictures, part numbers, torque values, all that stuff. So we'll, uh, We'll go over that in the install video, but this subframe fits basically any MQB car, the Golf, the GTI, the Golf R, the, of the Mark 7 or Mark 8, and the same with the 8V and the 8Y, Audis, A3, S3, RS3, TT, TTS, TTRS, you get the point. So this fits everything. They send so many stickers. <laughs> I think I have more Verkline stickers than anything else in there. So, um, oh look. Nice, a lanyard. I think I have three of those now. <laughs> Let's... Man, and it is just, I mean, seriously light. I mean, obviously it is because it's in the name, but until you actually get to hold it, you don't know. Let's rip all this stuff off. And they always clearly package things very nicely. And I think I ordered this, I don't know, like, Took like two days to get here and like two days of process, so about a week or so. I should have ordered it earlier because I have autocross tomorrow. And now I'm really tempted to just toss this in today because you don't really need a realignment with this. You might maybe, like if your subframe that you have on there now is off center, um, it might change your camber a little bit. But Realistically, you probably don't. And if I didn't have the arms coming on Tuesday, I would go ahead and just throw this in today, honestly. But I want to have, I want to do everything at once. Because I, I don't know if I'd have to drop this subframe back down again to take off my current control arms. But I think with their control arms, you don't have to drop the subframe, to take them out. Because there's, there's things in the way. So, uh, one of the big things, see, you don't really save that much weight. Cause I have the aluminum subframe already, so it doesn't save a ton of weight. But in the install video, we will weigh the aluminum versus this to see the real world savings. But if you currently have the steel version, which comes in the Mark 7s, um, I believe all the Audis have the aluminum frame. I don't know if the A3 does, but either way, that's where you're gonna see the most weight savings. But some of the other benefits of this is um, you know, one of the one of the best mods you can do for the Mark 7 is getting the Tyrol Sport dead set kit, which puts your subframe dead center, you know, and uh, it actually kind of helps steering feel. So with this, you don't need that because this this centers itself, and which eventually here we'll get to. Um, you don't need any dog bone inserts either. So not needing a locking kit, you don't need a dog bone insert kit so that's all saving weight on top of already having this lightweight subframe so that's pretty cool and that's 
in a sense, money saved um, if you didn't already have those things, or like me, because I have the O34 subframe or dog bone inserts, um, I can just sell those or what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna give them away to someone local who needs them, so. Whew. I think that's about all I have to say until I get this bag open. I wanna show you guys the dog bone area. Um, and this also has the mounting for, which I believe is on the subframe. It goes from the subframe to the control arm, I think, for the uh, the level sensor, which is for your headlights, and I think it, the ECU talks to it for, I don't know, steering output on whatever, traction control maybe, or something along those lines. But the most curious thing I am is with, with the control arms that are coming, how do those integrate the mounting for that level sensor that's the only thing that i'm worried about um but yeah i mean it is it is weird. We'll, we'll see i'm sure they have a solution they wouldn't just skip out on that and i like you guys can already see here that there is like hardware that came with it for the i don't know what this is for but i see some of the other spots i don't want to mess up the, the finish on this with the knife stuff is wrapped so good um all right we're just gonna cut to when this is all unwrapped all right boys there we go in all of her glory this thing is absolutely gorgeous let's look at this thing we got some spacers in there from the arms i didn't see that um you got two different mounting spots for your um control arms i'll be using the upper one i believe um it just depends on how low your car is this helps uh, with bump steering you can see they included some new hardware um we have this these four are for the sway bar and then you have other ones here and here i believe for the uh whatchamacallit steering rack and then i still i didn't figure out what these are for yet i don't i don't exactly know i think they said that you can use these to mount lights if you can mount some type of lights, but that's, and you got this like adapter, it's just, everything like is drawn out in the instructions, but um, this like slides in here, I guess, to do something. I'm not entirely sure. Does this fit through this? Oh yeah, so this bolt will go through here and then you'll tighten this up against the bolt to reduce flex. I guess that's what that's for. It's pretty cool. Let's flip this bad boy upside down because they always do some cool, cool things and they weld like a. Uh, just see here in a moment. Sorry if that was loud. Yes. Wow. This is beautiful. Look at this thing. Sheesh. Look at that. You got your uh, mounting points for your uh, your downpipe bracket. This thing is gorgeous. Oh, look how these like sit down in there. That's nice. This thing is. You got all this. I don't even know. It's cool though. I like these little. I guess they call them gussets. Beautiful. What a beautiful piece. And the only other option you have with this, you can pick whatever color you want, and then you can get a black version. A motorsport version. Look at, I mean that's that is dope. This is gonna be super sick. And then we're definitely gonna be introducing a bit more <laughs> vibration into the cabin with this. But uh, who cares? This thing is sick. There's just another look here on the toolbox before we wrap this video up. This thing is just. Beautiful. Man, I cannot wait to toss this in this week. Once the arms get here, <clears throat> it says Tuesday. So Tuesday, we'll unbox and uh, make a video on those. And then I guess Wednesday after work, we'll uh, get to it. Um, I'll try and remember to link i have a whole my battery cut out on me i have a whole verkline playlist with all the verkline stuff that i've gotten um over the years so 
I'll be adding all this to that and you can just click that and see all about their rear um, subframe and the control arms, tow arms, uh, trailing arms, the bushing inserts, all that stuff. So be on the lookout for all that coming. I'm just, I'm so excited. I haven't been this excited for a part in a long time. Um, really excited to see how this feels on track. The steering is a little numb in this and when I put just the locking kit on my Mark 7, um, from Tyrol Sport, that really made the steering feel better. So I'm really excited to see how this is going to change the steering feel in this car. Very, very, very excited. These parts are second to none. You can't beat this. I don't even know anybody else that's making subframes for these cars. Um, and then you see that like the IROS cars are running this stuff and all that. Um, and their affiliation with AMS. If you don't know who AMS is, give them a Google. Just pretty dope. Oh, super happy. Super, um, just, I'm proud of myself that I was able to even get this, you know. So that's a goal. It's been a goal of mine for a long time. Ever since I heard about the company, I've been drooling over. I've had this open and in an open tab on my phone for probably, uh, since I found it, over two years. I've always had a Verkline tab open that I can finally close. <laughs> And I have a couple other things in there that, you know, every time I open it up, I see, you know, that thing. And it's like, yeah, I need, really need to work on that, that goal of mine. I'm reminded of it all the time that this is something I wanted to um, work my way up to getting. And I finally got it. So I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you drop a thumbs up. Check out the other videos if you're interested. Be on the lookout for the install and the, you know, the feedback videos of this stuff. I um, appreciate you guys watching. Thank you, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop.